guys today is honestly so gloomy outside i am feeling like shit because i just got my period and you guys know my period is horrible it's been better ever since i got my iud in because that's why i got my iud because i suffer from endometriosis but still with my iud in i've had my iud for almost a year now still with it in my periods are pretty shitty like right now i feel like my hormones are going crazy i have like a couple huge pimples which usually my skin is like really good my eczema is flaring right now i have pimples and and I'm just like not feeling the best. My skin doesn't feel the best. My stomach doesn't feel the best. And you know when it's just like one of those days where you just don't really feel good? That's today. Like I'm not feeling myself today at all. And I just wanted to film on a day where I'm not feeling 100% because I feel like when I film I'm all showing my best self and the best version of myself and I just want to also show this side of myself where it's like not always realistic to be 100% on it all of the time like this morning I slept in let my body sleep in until around 8 and usually I wake up pretty early like around 5 so that's like just having grace for your body and knowing when you need that extra rest but anyways i'm just trying to romanticize today even though i feel like shit the weather is so gloomy and i feel like it's especially important on days like this to romanticize your life and do things that make you feel really good and make you feel really happy because these are the days where you need to do that the most i have like a lot of shit to get done today and this week so my period really did come at a shitty time but it's okay because i will get through it and i'm just going to be giving my body Body extra grace like instead of driving to the gym this morning I just went to my apartment gym and just did cardio workout instead of like forcing my body to lift because there's no way I could have done that today and felt good it's just kind of like switching around your schedule for your body sometimes that just needs to be done but yeah so that is today I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer but I also just wanted to be realistic on here and every day isn't an amazing day and even though I strive to make every day an amazing day there's harder days to do that you know what i mean sometimes i wake up and i'm just in a really good mood which is most of the time but on days like this i kind of have to do extra things to make me feel better so doing my makeup is one of these things that i'm doing today where usually on a day where i feel like shit i just won't do my makeup but today I'm like you know what even though my skin's shit my eyelids are burning me i'm still gonna do my makeup just because i know it makes me feel better after it's done and more confident so by the way you guys i picked up some new stuff from the drugstore that i really want to show you guys so i got this nyx concealer serum it is like the best concealer i've ever tried in general with my hind concealers and my drugstore concealers i just love the formula so much it blends like a dream i've been applying it with the elf um ultimate blending brush and these two together i will link them down below for you guys on amazon but obsessed like dream team right here and then i just went in with my elf putty blush i love this so much this is in the shade i think it's bora bora their putty blush is so good and the shade is so pretty and it's only like six dollars like how can you go wrong and then i also picked up the elf brow lift and i've been using this every single day since i got it it's so good it's a dupe for the anastasia brow lift if you guys were thinking of getting that one definitely go for this because it's the exact same thing and it's only like around six dollars as well i didn't apply this today but i also got the elf halo glow which is supposed to be a dupe for the charlotte tilbury and i tried this the other day and i loved it, it honestly looked and felt the exact same as a charlotte tilbury i didn't notice a difference let me know if you guys like these get ready with me's that i've been doing because i feel like they've been so popular on tiktok oh my god i'm literally having such a bad cramp right now i was like why do i feel like shit today then i go to the bathroom and i'm like makes a lot of sense i feel like having a period and being on your cycle is so underrated how is there not like a, a program in place where if you have really painful periods you can take a couple days off of work like if men had periods there would be like a whole dedicated week each month where they got to take it off but because it's women they're like eh. periods actually affect some women so much i'm fortunate enough to be able to work around my own schedule but there's i know there's some people that obviously can't do that and so it's like it just makes me mad because i'm like you should at least like at minimum get one paid day off for your period a month i've been using this makeup by mario skin enhancer in the shade light medium it's my favorite thing in the whole entire world I will probably be repurchasing this forever because I love it that much. I also got the Maybelline Sky High Mascara and I've been loving this as well. It doesn't make my lashes clumpy at all and it just separates them really nicely, which is a huge problem usually when I use mascara. Oh my god, period cramps are just the worst. Like I just can't, you would never be able to describe them to somebody who's never felt them before, but they're just 
so bad. These Morphe lip liners are so good. I don't know if they make them anymore. This is in the shade Baxi Love, and it's honestly a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury. So good. Just blow dried my hair and finished my makeup and I feel a lot better. Still having period cramps, but sometimes getting yourself together on the outside makes you feel a lot better on the inside. And obviously you're going to have those days where you just can't get ready and you just need to sit on the couch and that's fine too. I have those days as well. But today was one of those days where like I just needed to get ready to make myself feel better. Especially just because it's a Monday and I have like a lot to do. So anyways, I feel so much better right now that I got ready. Yeah, it just feels good. Feels good. So I just actually put the Tower 28 gloss on in the shade Pistachio. But I'm just going to spray some perfume because that always makes me feel better too. Weirdly enough, like putting some sort of fragrance on me makes me feel a lot better in terms of like just smelling good and feeling clean. It just adds to my mood. It just boosts my mood. So I've been accumulating some PR boxes that I've been wanting to show you guys. I'm so freaking grateful for the companies that send me products and stuff, but I thought that I would do a little bit of an unboxing because I've never done a PR unboxing on my channel before. So I'm just gonna open the boxes and quickly show you guys. So the first package I got is from Verst. They sent me a few skincare items. I kind of already opened things, but I put them back in the package. So they sent me this brightening eye gel, which I'm so excited to try because I don't know, I just love little serums like this. Moisturizing cream. Then we have their brightening serum. Serum, and then their gel cleanser, which I think got a little botched. I've never actually tried a gel cleanser before, so I'm really excited. And then they also sent me their SPF, which I've actually been using every single day, and I love it. So thank you so much to Verst. Okay, the next package I got is from Charlotte Tilbury. Are you freaking kidding me? Like, this is an actual dream come true. So they gave me their magic cream, which I'm so excited to try out because apparently this is really good. Their magic serum. And then they gave me their Pillow Talk mascara, which I've actually already tried and I love it so much. Pillow Talk lip liner and then their Pillow Talk lipstick. Pillow Talk chic to chic. It's like a highlighter and blush combined, but yeah, obsessed. This is from Good Molecules. I've actually never tried any of their things before, so I'm really excited about this. They got me their discoloration correcting serum, their overnight exfoliating treatment nice and amide brightening toner and then their ultra hydrating facial oil so excited to try these out thank you so much good molecules this one you guys i absolutely geeked out about this is from drunk elephant like are you kidding me they gave me a huge bag i'm not even gonna go over every single product because there's just so much in here but oh my goodness thank you so much drunk elephant this is honestly a dream i'm so incredibly grateful and then the last package is actually from the intelligent change if you guys don't know they're the creators of the five minute journal that I use every single morning and have been using it for years. But they were so kind enough to send me some other pieces that they have. But yeah, thank you so much to the Intelligent Change for sending me all this and for all the companies. I'm so grateful. I will definitely be updating you after I try all these products, what I like and stuff. So stay tuned. I've also been like thinking of what kind of direction I want to take my, cha my channel in going forward. I feel like I really like the content I've been making so far. Um, I've gotten really good feedback about how it's like really motivational and stuff. So I'm definitely I'm gonna continue down that route and no matter where life takes me my content might be a little bit different but at the end of the day it's always going to be the same thing if that makes sense just because youtube is not so much about the content that somebody makes but i think that it's more about the person you're watching even if i'm in a different apartment or a different place i'm still going to be creating my content which would be kind of the same as if i'm here even though it's going to look a little different but i'm really just happy where my content is now and where it's going to go and i love creating motivational videos and whatever i'm doing in my life i feel like that's where my channel is gonna go but i hope you guys are liking my content this year so far and just know that wherever i go still gonna be the same because it's gonna be me but it just might look a little different you know yeah i just love you guys so much and i can't even explain how grateful i am for you watching my video right now it just feels like i have so many friends no matter where you are in the world and i love you guys so much I got it in pink and black from Amazon. 
it's like a knockoff of the versed one because I wanted it so bad. I wear it every single day. I wear it doing my skincare, I wear it doing my makeup. And it's honestly the best thing ever just because like those other headbands that I use are just sometimes inconvenient. And since these ones are like a cloth like material, it's fine if you get them wet and I don't know. I just love them so much. But anyways, I'm just applying, I just got ready. It's my sister's birthday today. I'm just applying the Tower 28 lip gloss in this shade Pistachio. This is the one that went viral on TikTok. And it finally came back in stock, so I had to try it. It's a lot darker than I expected. It looks so light on some people, but I still like it. Anyways, so I wanted to thank Case Defy for sponsoring this video. I just got a brand new phone. It's iPhone 14 Pro Max. I love it so much, but they sent me cases for it. And I also got a cute little phone charm. It's like so aesthetic. I'm obsessed. But if you guys didn't know, Case Defy is actually the world's largest tech accessory brand. So one thing I love about Case Defy is they're constantly working to reduce their impact on the environment, to be more sustainable. What they do is they upcycle old cases and then they reuse the plastic from that to make brand new cases which is so cool and they do this using re-case defy technology and by doing that they're reducing the amount of virgin plastic that they use so it's so much better for the environment so far they've recycled more than 160,000 cases but they have the best protection they have up to a 21.3 foot drop protection they have such trendy and you can customize so many of their cases they have over 2,000 prints that you can choose from from their website they have so many but now all of their cases including their impact bounce series as well as their essential watch bands are made from recycled materials their cases also comes in 100 recycled packaging Here, let me show you guys the other two cases that i got they're so freaking cute so i got this one in green kind of reminds me of the planet earth that we're protecting but it says better things are coming and it's so cute and then i also just got a plain black one but this one's my ultimate favorite with my initials here in my phone charm it's so cute but yeah so if you guys want to shop them you can click the link in my description to get yourself 15 percent off i would 10 out of 10 recommend i'm going to be rocking these cases probably forever now because they have just such good production so worth the price and they're so sustainable yeah thank you so much to caseify for sponsoring this video and i love you guys slippers because these are just the comfiest things ever and they're just easy um and then i just have this sweatsuit on from garage i'll have it linked down below but anyways i'm gonna take you guys along so i just got to whole foods i'm here with Brittany. we're just gonna grocery shop we're gonna grab a coffee before because whole foods is right beside like a starbucks and then there's also like food in whole foods they also have a juice bar but i definitely want to get coffee so we're gonna go out maybe to starbucks to eat something and get a coffee and then grocery shop together i want to eat at whole foods i also want a coffee oh yeah well, well let's go to starbucks first okay and let's go to starbucks coffee, and then let's go to whole foods after okay. don't they have a cafe in whole foods you could order they? like a full I bowl. thought it was a juice bar. Oh, no. Let's go in Whole Foods. Okay. We'll scope it out. Okay. And then we can also just leave and then come back. Okay. Deal. Anyways. <laughs> We just finished grocery shopping. It's currently two o'clock and we're just gonna head home. 
home. I'm so filled. Wait, where's my coffee? I got such a good coffee at Whole Foods. I didn't even know that they had a coffee bar there. Apparently they have a burrito bar, they have sushi, and I never noticed. <laughs> It's because I usually just grocery shop there, so pretty big, and they have so much. Like, they have a whole burrito bar, a whole sushi bar, a whole sandwich bar, a whole hot food section. A co I didn't even notice they had a coffee thing, but it's so good. Then I'll show you guys grocery haul when we get home. Here is my overview grocery haul. You guys can just take a look at it. I've been obsessed with this smoked salmon recently. I just get it from Whole Foods, and I put this on, like, avocado and, like, a bagel. It would also be good with cream cheese, but holy crap, it's so good, and I'm just obsessed with like smoked salmon bennies and i made my own the other day and it was so delicious but anyways yeah this is a little grocery haul i'm probably just gonna have a kombucha right now because i'm obsessed this is my favorite kombucha brand by the way all their flavors are just so good it always hits and nothing compares to them for me it's just so good before i put away my groceries this just kind of came to the top of my mind and i wanted to talk about it i'm trying to live my life more so more like i'm on a vacation every day when you're on vacation you're usually the happiest because you can de-stress you don't have much to worry about and it's just like fun it's a new experience but it's like why don't we enjoy life like that every single day like why is it only when we're on vacation and i heard somebody say this and i'm like that is so true like that's one of my new goals for 2023 is living my life more so like i'm on a vacation let's say during the middle of the day I feel like reading for an hour because that de-stresses me. Usually if I did something like that, I'd feel really kind of bad about it and I'd be like, I just wasted an hour and I wasn't really productive. I was just relaxing, but it's like, no, like that's okay. Like that made me happy. That made me enjoy life and it de-stressed me. Why would I feel guilty about that? Like at the end of the day, I love being productive and all, but it's good to have a balance, especially when it comes to your stress levels. Like you need to do things throughout your day that are just for you. And you need to put aside time that's just for you and not feel guilty about it. During the hours of like nine to five, if I do something that's quote unquote not productive, I always end up making myself feel, feel guilty for doing that. But it's like, no, like you have to enjoy life too. And almost living your life like you're on vacation every day i feel like can really help and that's the mindset that i've been trying to have this week so it's like okay if i just want to sit down on the couch and read for an hour during the middle of the day and i have the ability to do that then i'm gonna do that or if you're at work and you're on your lunch break like go walk to go get a coffee or something like do something fun and don't feel guilty about it yeah, i feel like we almost sometimes just take life too seriously and it's like we don't need to be productive machines 24 7 and i know i do a lot of productivity videos and motivational videos because don't get me wrong i would like to be productive and have motivation and that's all amazing but like i said everything has to be balanced as well or else you're going to get burnt out and you're going to be overworking yourselves and it's also really important to just enjoy life in general so that's what i've been trying to do recently and it's been helping my stress levels a lot this morning i woke up at like seven o'clock i just kind of let my body naturally wake up instead of having my alarm set for five and sometimes it's really crucial for me to have that structure and like set my alarm and stuff like that like on certain days but also it's also important to have that balance where it's like okay if i'm not feeling like waking up super early one morning i can let my body rest and that is okay as well but i just wanted to say that because yeah like i said i preach a lot of productivity and stuff but you also have to take into account your mental well-being and what makes you feel good and at the end of the day it's all about having balance and finding what works for you and it's just important to enjoy life and not feel guilty about every single thing that you do in the middle of the day we're here to enjoy our lives and to do things that make us happy and sometimes i just have to chill and I just have to realize that it's like, got to enjoy my life too. Well, having a mix of that like structure and balance. And I'm just kind of finding exactly what works for me through trial and error. Finding what makes my body feel the best and stuff and being intuitive with it. I just wanted to say that because that has been on my mind. So yeah, anyways, I'm going to unload the groceries. It's pouring rain right now. It's almost like hailing. It's so weird. But let's put these groceries away. Oh. 